What is going on guys? My name is Bill Matthews from the Bass and Bill 96 YouTube channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about top water popper fishing. So today we have the Guggen Squad blooper and we have the Booyah Bait Company prank. We're going to be breaking down what makes each one of these poppers unique. We're going to be catching some fish on them and we have perfect popper conditions out here. Completely flat calm so we are going to get on them so stick around. Stay tuned guys if you guys want to learn more about popper fishing. Let's just jump right into this one guys. So we are gonna start out with the Guggen Squad blooper made by Ketchco right here. And what makes this popper unique is the ribs on the body and also the unique cup shape of the mouth right there. But we're gonna tie this on and when you are popper fishing, what you want is you want monofilament line because monofilament floats or you could also throw it on braided line as well, which is, okay, something giant just jumped right there, boys and girls. That's a good sign that the top water action is about to go off. I don't know if you guys heard or saw that at all, but something huge just got up and out of the water right there but back to the line that we're throwing you either want to throw it on monofilament or braided line because both of those types of lines float if you throw a popper or any other topwater bait for that matter on fluorocarbon line the front nose of that bait's going to want to sink down in the water so you want to make sure you have line that floats that's first and foremost what you need and uh, we have that Guggen Squad blooper tied up right here we're gonna get to fishing this and I'm gonna show you guys where I like to throw this and how you wanna work this bait as well. We are at the first spot of the day and as you guys can see, we're gonna be fishing this popper around quite a few different docks right here. And there's basically two different ways that you're gonna to wanna to retrieve the popper. Uh, the first retrieve is what I like to do when I'm fishing docks and other cover like docks. And uh, we just got one first cast right there. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to give it that slow and steady retrieve guys. The slow and steady retrieve keeps it right around that cover and those fish are really going to key in on those pauses in the popper. That's when they're going to blow up on it. So I'll show you exactly how we did it. This, this fish kind of rudely interrupted us right here. Just a little bass first cast of the day on that little Guggen Squad blooper right here. There we go. First bass going back in the lake. But like I was saying, all we're going to be doing is casting around this cover. Like say we took another cast by this pontoon boat right here and you're just going to give it a pop. Let it sit there for a second. Give it a pop, let it sit there for a second. And those pauses are when those fish are gonna blow up on it like you guys just saw right there. Not a very big one for the first bass of the day, but basically drove the point home, how you're gonna wanna fish this popper. So we're gonna fish this around these docks, this little Guggen Squad blooper for a second. And then I'm gonna show you guys the second retrieve when I'm fishing open water, how I like to work this popper as well, because it's a little bit different. There we go. Right off that break wall. Just those slow little twitches like I was talking about. Whenever you're fishing it around cover, that thing absolutely crushed it. Not a very big bass, guys, but uh, she absolutely slurped up that popper. You can't complain when there's smoke in top water like that. Get that fish off of the hook here. Little like 10 inch bass going back in the water right there. But all we're really doing right here is just working up this break wall, picking that apart along with these docks right here. A lot of these fish in the morning when you have these flat calm conditions are gonna push bait fish up into this shallow water start chasing them around. So a popper is the perfect bait to target those fish. And as you guys have seen, a lot of them are eating it on like the first pop. The second that this thing drops in, that's when they're smoking it. Dude, literally did not even get to move the popper that time. That's why you kind of want to let it sit there for a second. Just let those little water rings dissipate around it. And a lot of those fish, the second that it hits the water, are going to smoke it. But that was the third fish that we caught on that little slow and steady retrieve. I'm gonna show you guys the other way that I like to retrieve this blooper, but not catching a lot of big ones today, but these little ones are up there smoking the top waters. The other way that I like to work this bait is usually when I'm fishing like a big expansive sand flat or somewhere where I need to cover a lot of water and all you do is cast it out there and you're gonna give it a lot more steady retrieve. You're gonna kind of keep that popper moving, almost working it like a spook and that thing is gonna dart side to side just like it was a walking bait but it also has that little cupped lip. So it's spitting up a bunch of different water as well. So we're gonna try working it like this for a little bit, see if we could get a couple fish to come up on this. And uh, like I said, this is how you're gonna wanna work the popper if you need to cover a lot more water. So if you're fishing a big flat for smallmouth, or uh, if you're fishing a big grass flat for largemouth, however you wanna look at it, this is how you're gonna wanna work that popper. So we started out by working it around those docks really, really slow. Now we're gonna start moving it a little bit quicker, see if we can get a couple aggressive ones to blow up on it. There he is. There he is. Right up in that little sand flat in between the docks. Working it a little bit quicker. Like I said, normally this type of area, I would still be working it with that slow and steady retrieve. But just for demonstration purposes, I wanted to work it a little bit faster and show you guys how I would work this if I was working a big expansive flat. 
another little dinky bass, but we are absolutely lighting them up. They are crushing that popper. Like I said, we have perfect conditions out here. It's slick, calm. We're protected from the sun right now, so it's all shaded. That's really what you want for top water. Usually when the sun is high in the sky, like say we were on the other side of the lake right now, you're probably not going to get as much action on the top water because those fish aren't going to want to be out in the open, up in the shallow water, since bass do not have eyelids. So you're really going to want to focus on the top water bite in the morning and in the late afternoon as well, when that sun starts going down. But that's a few fish on the blooper right there. We are now going to jump into the Booyah Bait Company prank popper. So let me just show you guys this one right here. Very interesting design. It's going to be probably the most unique popper that you guys have ever seen if you guys have not seen this on the market yet. And this little Booyah Bay Company prank, it looks like a standard popper. Wouldn't expect anything out of it, except it's got that little crankbait bill right there as well. So this is going to fish a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you guys the two different ways that we're going to break this down as well. So the first one's going to be pretty traditional, as you guys are about to see. But let me just tie this up, and we're going to jump right into this bait as well. We are rigged up and ready to go with that Booyah Bay Company prank right there. And as you guys can see, the only thing that we switched up is we're throwing this on a spinning rod since this popper is quite a bit lighter than that Guggen Squad blooper. But we're going to jump into the first retrieve. So pretty much the same way as we were fishing that Guggen Squad popper, all we're going to do is that slow and steady retrieve. So we're going to cast it out, let those rings kind of dissipate away from the popper, we're just going to give it a pop, let it sit there, give it a pop, let it sit there. So pretty much like any normal popper that you guys have ever seen on the market. This is a very, very different lure, but the first way that we're going to retrieve this is just like a normal popper. There we go. The second that it touched the water on that Booyah prank right there. Slow and steady retrieve, very, very small bass. That is uh, not exactly what you want to catch. Usually when you're throwing top water, you're kind of searching for those bigger fish. And so far today, this is literally all we could get is these tiny little bass that are probably up there feeding on little glass minnows up in the really shallow water. But little booyah prank fish. And uh, we're going to jump into the second way that I like to fish this now. So call one of that slow and steady retrieve. And this is where this thing is really going to shine. Usually, like I said, when I'm fishing this popper, I'm fishing it around targets like docks, like break walls, pretty much everything that you guys have seen throughout this video thus far. But where this little booyah prank is going to shine is say we're fishing a dock like this. We're fishing this pontoon right in this little shady pocket. We're working the popper nice and slow, just like you would and then you're done fishing that cast. So normally with a regular topwater bait, you're gonna start burning it in and you're probably not gonna catch anything. But with this little Booyah prank, since it has that crankbait lip on there, whenever you start to reel it in, there's still a chance pretty much all the way until you get it to the boat that you're gonna catch a fish on this thing. It's just like a crankbait. So where this thing is gonna shine is if you're fishing this around break walls, docks, stuff like that, you fish it like a normal popper like you guys just saw. And then whenever you're done with your cast though, you just reeled this in like a crankbait. And there is a good chance that you're going to catch a few every single day on this Booyah prank that you would miss on a regular popper, that you would not catch. Some fish are just going to be sitting in between those docks or a little bit off the bank. And with a regular popper, you're going to miss those fish because you're going to give it a few pops, you're going to crank it in, and you're not going to work that bait all the way back to the boat. So that's where this Booyah prank's really going to shine. And also you could just work this like a regular crankbait too. Like say we're fishing this little sand flat right here. I could just straight reel this thing in, in between these docks. So until we get to the next spot where I actually want to fish, this is another great way you could fish this Booyah prank, just straight like a crankbait. Then we get up to this next dock, like you guys can see right here, and we could get right back to fishing it like a normal popper. So that's what's really cool about this bait. It's super versatile. Work it just like any other popper in your arsenal, but also you have that extra chance of catching a fish like right now could get smoked just straight cranking this thing back to the boat. There we go, straight cranking it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that right there. I wasn't working it like I just said, like I wasn't fishing it normal and then reeling it back. I was just straight cranking that over the flat. And as you guys can see, this little Booyah prank right there, you could straight crank this thing in just like a normal crankbait and you could still catch fish. That is going to be a wrap on today's video, guys. Just a little one-on-one -on -one session on how to fish poppers, where to fish them, all that good stuff. Hopefully you guys learned something along the way. Uh, we obviously did not catch any giant fish today. It was kind of a dink fest, but anytime you could get on a topwater bite and catch a ton of fish, blowing up on the surface it's always a good day out there but thank you guys so much for watching definitely consider checking out both of these poppers but especially that booyah bait company prank very very unique bait and uh like i said it's really cool because you can kind of cover that dead water in between those docks as you're fishing this popper around them definitely something to check out but thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one